this island, we should achieve a larger ratio. This had certainly come true. It must also be remembered that all the enemy machines and pilots which are shot down over our island or over the seas which surround it are either destroyed or captured. Whereas a considerable proportion of our machines and also of our pilots are saved and soon again, in many cases, come into action. The gratitude of every home in our island, in our empire, and indeed throughout the world, except in the abodes of the guilty, goes out to the British airmen, who, undaunted by odds, unwearied in their constant challenge and mortal danger, are turning the tide of the world war by their prowess and by their devotion. Never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few.